Hello, today I'm going to introduce you to the C Sharp programming language. I'm going to be using Microsoft's Visual Studio 2008 Professional Edition, but if you want, you can download a free version Microsoft's Visual C Sharp 2008 Express Edition. It's, it's very good and free. Another free program you can use is uh, Sharp Develop from IC Sharp Code. Uh, people argue that they're not as good. I've used them. I like I like the Sharp Develop program. It just doesn't have some of the features that the full version of Visual Studio has that I like. Okay, so to get started, we're going to create a new C Sharp project, a console application, because we're going to write a Hello World program. So we'll name this Hello World. This can take a few minutes to generate. Okay. Now, that, oops. Now that that's done, we should identify ev everywhere that Visual Studio has their stuff at. Because I have heavily modified my Visual Studio, so my solutions. Ex damn it, my solutions explorer is over on the left side when it's normally on the right side above properties. Alright, to make a hello world program is actually very simple. You just want to do console dot right line and then your string hello world whoops ah and if we were to compile that and debug it, it oops for right now I'll just hit a I'll just put whoops console dot read key F5 debugs and all it does is print hello world and just hit any key okay now to identify the parts of the program first thing is namespace C sharp and other dotnet languages are object oriented so you have classes and namespaces there's more to uh, object orientation than that but that's beyond the scope of this tutorial you the namespace is whatever you want it, want it to be by default it's whatever you named the project then class, it always starts out with a class of program and every time you create a new C sharp file its class will be whatever the name of the file is without the dot CS at the end your main function has to be static I'll get into that in a later tutorial uh, the return type of void main and uh, it has to start your your program always starts with a main function and uh, the array of strings called args I'll get into that in a later tutorial but that's just your environment um, not environment variable sorry that's just the arguments that were passed to the application through the command line 
I'll get into that in just a minute. And then console dot uh, console dot write line writes a string to the console, like hello world that we just did. Console dot read line reads a reads whatever key is pressed on the keyboard and it passes it to a variable normally or you can use like this one does and stop it till a key is pressed now if you looked at the output window of the program you would have noticed that the N key I mean that the letter N was displayed right before it closed you might not have noticed that but if you want to stop that just pass the variable true to the function and it won't display it like that though it's probably way too fast to see okay now I'll show you the arguments that you can pass to the application through the command line I'll just iterate through them so for each string arg in args a console dot right line arg now for this I will com I will build the solution hang on one minute okay I just decided to instantly get us to the proper folder so you didn't have to sit there and wait for me to get there okay so to pass a argument to the program you type in the name of the program you don't need the dot exe at the end and I'll just pass the variable uh, not variable but I'll just pass the string test and it will display a test and then we can also pass numbers a switch, uh, switch now inside the program I I have not built any way to handle this switch so it just displayed it I will make a tutorial on how to handle switches in a later tutorial okay that's it I have posted a I mean I have created a new blog on blogger I'll put a link to it in the description box I will post the source code to uh, the hello world application both versions of it so you can just copy and paste it to your program alright that's it